today we are doing the November 2016 paper. Let's just start uh, with the first question. What does it say? So it says find the value of 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.02, giving your answer is a decimal fraction. Okay, this is a buzz phrase, decimal fraction. So what, what, what does it mean? A decimal fraction is any fraction that has um, the denominator, it's a multiple, it's a the denominator is in tens, so it can be 10 to the power something. So for example, 2 over 200, uh, 2 over 100. So for example, 2 over 100, it's a decimal uh, fraction. Uh, for example, 3 over 1 million, it's a decimal fraction, okay? So we just have to have uh, tens um, in, the, in the denominator, okay? So we have 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.02. What you do is 0 0.4 is 4 by 10. Okay. And then this one is 2 by 100. Notice that the zeros here on the denominator, they correspond to the number of decimal places that you have. So for example, 4 is just 4 by 10. And then here we have two decimal places. That's why it's 100. And then you just multiply when you have two fractions the numerators can multiply and then the denominators can multiply avoid cancelling anything here remember the point is to have a multiple a, a, a tens in the in the denominator so here you actually get eight by one thousand just like this and then you're done okay so the idea is to have maybe one million ten million billion ten or something in the in the bottom of the of the equation so the in the bottom in the denominator of the of the fraction so that's it let's move to question 1b say so simplify 2 over 5 of 15x minus 3x times yeah this one we can uh, change it quickly whenever you're simplifying these things you need to have this as improper fractions so 1 by 3 you get 3 plus 1 you get 4 so this would be 4 over 3, okay? And then we can deal with other issues now. Of means multiply by. So 2 over 5 of 15 over x actually means 2 over 5 times 15 over x. Okay, so we are just uh, replacing that so that there's clarity. Now, uh, whenever you, you have uh, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction, there is a hierarchy that you use and the hierarchy it's um, bomb dust okay some people say board mass i've never I, I don't know where that came from but basically whenever you have multiplication whenever you have brackets brackets to detect priority and then multiplication comes first this is the hierarchy then division then addition then subtraction okay so right now we don't have division which is a good thing we just have to concentrate on multiplying and people and things entities they multiply with uh, the nearest entities for, for so for example 2.5 uh, 2 2 5 multiplies by 15x so we actually simplify this if you want you can use brackets so that you have clarity this is what you're supposed to simplify and this one also you're supposed to simplify it separately okay so we're going to multiply first that's the hierarchy so you get 3 here so you actually get 6x minus let's just use equals uh, here those three cancels out with that three and then we get four x here and then we just get two x like this so we, we get uh, two x overall and then that's it you're done so the, again the situation here was we needed to know what to simplify first so always the brackets they they come first if any so here we didn't have brackets the next in hierarchy would be the multiplication and then they, multi they multiply the entities you know if you have multiplication here the immediate entities these are supposed to be multiplying so we did this by uh, interpreting off as multiplication and then we also did this part as well and then we simplified then we got 2x let's quickly move to the second question second question says uh, express 2.54 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 in ordinary form Okay, so 2a, we're supposed to express this in ordinary form. 
so if you feel if you're not really sure what it means you can just look through so that you eliminate here it says as a fraction in this lowest term so you just know that okay you know fraction it's not ordinary form here in this in this context it's not as a fraction and as a percentage it's not that so ordinary form here we are going to express it as a single number it will be a decimal okay so we have uh, 2.54 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 3 what does it mean it means uh 2.54 any number so according to the laws laws of indices x to the power negative n is about 1 over x to the power n okay so i want us to use this rule here so it'd be 10 to the power 3 here so you get 2.54 so you get 2.54 multiplied by 1 over 10 to the power 3 it's simply a thousand and when you're dividing something, there's a way in which uh, you shift the comma. So when you're dividing by uh, 1000, you're supposed to shift the comma to the left, making this number smaller. When you're multiplying, you shift to the right, making this number greater, okay? So how do you do it? Um, the comma is here, so you're going to shift to this place. So you put a placeholder. This is the first uh, shift. You have to make three of these. Why? Because we have 1,000 here. So this is the second shift. This is the third shift. So your comma is supposed to be here and with the zeros. So ultimately you get 0 0.00254. This is ordinary form. And then you're done. And then notice that when we are changing how we express numbers, we are not changing the value. So here the number was powered by a negative power. So it was obviously a, a small number and then we got a small number as well so we were on the right track let's move uh, to the b part the b part says express uh, the same number as a fraction in its lowest term so you have uh, 2.54 multiply by here we said uh, it'd be 1 over 1000 just like we did previously so we're just using the stuff that we did previously so you get 2.54 over 1000 this is a fraction but then it's not uh, in its lowest term and the first thing that we need to do is to get rid of this comma so how do you get rid of it you have two decimal places here we want to, sh to have the comma uh, shift to the last decimal place we do that more than by multiplying by 100 but if you multiply by the numerator by 100 to preserve the value we have to multiply the denominator by 100 as well this is the same as just multiplying by one 100 over 100 it's equal to 1 so we're not changing anything we just want to change this into a into a, a number that's not a dis, in that's not in decimal form okay so here afterwards okay let me just remove this it's not good to put equal signs as a train like this you're supposed to actually put uh, in fact let me let me do that right now so that uh, you always write stuff the correct way so you get 2.254 uh, divided by 100,000 like this and then what do you get um, here 2 is a, is a factor why because we whenever you have numbers ending in 0 2 4 6 8 2 is obviously a factor for those numbers so if you say 22 you get 1 into 5 you get 2 remainder 1 into 14 you get 7 and then this one divided by 2 you just get 5 here then 0 0 0 0 so this is your answer in its lowest term we don't have any common factors between the numerator and the denominator anymore so this is the lowest form the lowest form for this fraction let's quickly move to part c what does it say we have uh, 2.54 the same number multiplied by 10 to the power negative 3 and we're asked to express it as a percentage whenever you're asked to express something as a percentage just, just multiply the stuff by 100 percent 100 percent again simply one so we are not changing anything we're just changing how we express it so and then you don't say by 100 you say by 100 percent so that uh, things make sense so it's 2.54 here multiply by 10 to the power negative 3 multiply by this one would be 10 to the power 2 percent the way the reason we are doing this and we are not just uh, simply 
uh, simplifying this is sometimes you may have like big numbers here then what would you do so it's always better to use uh, laws of indices so that's why we uh, change this to index form first and this one uh, you get 10 to the power if you're multiplying then the base is the same the powers they add so it's negative 3 plus 2 negative 3 plus 2 what do you get negative 1 here if uh, if this confuses you what you do is 3 and uh, 1 the bigger size number in, in a while to ignoring the the signs at 3 3 is what is negative sign okay we have different signs the bigger size number if we would not ignore the signs at 3 so 3 has it will detect how um, it would detect what sign we have to put and in this case it's negative and then we just say bigger number minus smaller number this is a case of uh, different signs for same signs it's different okay and uh, afterwards what do we get we get 2.54 uh, this one percent we have to put again times 1 by 10 like this percent so we just change this one using our the law of ind indices so if you have negative here and then if it comes it should, should give you positive so we're just uh, essentially saying 2.54 over 10 percent okay and this is equal to 10 into you just say 10 into if you want you can just shift the comma as well it's also another way to go about it without letting things get messier so you can just shift to the left whenever we are dividing a number or we are multiplying a number by a negative power so by 10 to the power negative power we just shift to the left and then we place this one you're familiar with that just because that's what we did uh, in our first case and then you get this and then that's it you're done i hope you're happy with this let's move to question three question three says uh, evaluate so we have uh, two to the power three minus two to the power zero what do you do here two to the power three means two by two by two okay it doesn't mean two by by three it means two by two by two and what we get here is eight minus two to the, two to the power zero any number to the power zero equal to one so just be careful and then you actually get seven here and then that's it so i hope you're happy on the second part this one was just a train okay all of this is under square root the second part says 1.6 multiply by 10 to the power 2 plus 9 so here what we do is um uh the multiplication here it uh it dominates so here we actually have 1.6 by 100 then plus 9 okay so you get one, 160 here in case you don't know how we get 160 we are moving our comma to the to the right so one two times because we are multiplying by 100 so you get 160 plus 9 so you get square root of 169 and so you get plus or minus what 13 you're supposed to know the the squares of numbers at least up to 13 you should know that 144 square root it's obviously 12. okay so let's move to uh, question four question four says evaluate this giving your answer in base five so part a we have 4 13 base 5 minus 34 base 5 so like this then we need to evaluate and then give your answer in base 5 um if we were in base 10 the way that i always explain it to uh, people is if we were in base 10 We'll be saying three minus four it can't then we add one year so this one this one becomes 13 and what we're doing here is we're adding 10 and the reason we're adding 10 here is we're actually in best 10 okay so in the same situation and then we cancel year we uh get we add one so we, this one becomes four so the same situation we do this but then we are in best five so we add five here so this one becomes eight so three minus four we can't do that so we have to uh give one set here one set would be in the sets of five so you get eight and then here we increment by one here also same thing this becomes six here we increment by one so this one and this one you get four this one and this one you get two and this one and this one you get three 
So we get uh, 324 plus 5, like this. And then obviously you're done. Let's move to the second part, part B. Part B says express this as a number in base, in base 6. The way to do it is to go through base 10 first. And if you're converting numbers, and if you're converting numbers to base 10, just label them from the unit digit going up from 0 to 1, 2, just like that. And what you do is you take the number first, you multiply by the base to the power. Okay. Then you keep on doing for each number. Multiply by the base to the power. So here like this. So here you get 63. So you get 7. I multiply by 9, you get 63. Here be careful. That's when some, some of the students are uh, like get it wrong. This is not... Uh, nine this is one okay so you actually get eight here so you get 71 or in all it's in what it's in best 10 now you have to change the base to base six and you use a tree t, a t diagram where you where you your only factor is six okay and you write the remainders so six into seven that's one remainder one six into this one that's one remainder five six into this one you get one remainder what remainder five again 6 into this one, you get 0, remainder 1, remainder 1. So at the end of the day, you get 1, 50, 5, best what? Best 6. Like this. And then you're done. Here we get 155 just because you have to read the remainders from the bottoms up. So this is how you do it. And then we're done with question 4. Let's move to question 5. Question 5 says factorize completely. So we have uh, 6m and minus 3m. We're supposed to factorize completely. It's a matter of finding what's common. The highest common factor, that's what you're supposed to factor out. So for numbers, the highest common factor is 3. For the letters, you just find what's common. And if you see that they're, let's say M and M, they're common. Let's say they're powers, you take the lower power. So if this one were 3 to the power, M to the power 3, and this one were M to the power 2, you take M to the power 2. So here, we're just taking M. So it was quite simple. So 3m into 6mn, 3 into 6, you get 2 on the numbers, and then n, such that when you multiply this and this, you still get 6mn, which is what you're getting. We are not changing anything, we're just changing how we present the number. We are not changing the, the values for the, for the expressions. So you actually get this, okay. Then that's it. That's how you factorize the, the numbers. And then for this one, it says uh, remove the brackets and simplify. So x minus 2y here, it's minus, okay. Let me, let me just write it down first so that there is some clarity. So here, this my, minus 3, it's multiplying throughout, throughout this bracket. So minus 3 times x, then you get minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus, minus 2y, then you get plus 6y like this. Then you arrange x minus 3y uh, minus 3x, I mean. So we are taking this so that they are side on side. If you can skip the stage as well, if you really know what you're doing, it's still okay. But here you get negative 2x plus 4y. This. So this would be your, your final answer. And then you're done. So we will continue from questions 6 through 10 in the next video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Yuba out.